Chocula. Bright and Maddie. Hi. Ah. <laughs> Okay, people, welcome back to another Whoosh Overview. Today, we're going to take a look at the Jaded Toys General Mills Monster Cereals Count Chocula and Frankenberry. Little secret, I don't care for cereals with mush mushrooms. <laughs> that sounds even worse than marshmallows. I was never a fan. But if you grew up in the late 70s and all through the 80s like I did, the Monster Cereal commercials, well, cereal commercials in general, are so nostalgic. If you were watching cartoons at any point, they were either pushing cereal toys or McDonald's on you. Plus, after Jada Toys first offering with the Universal Monsters and those coming out awesome, I had to see what they had next. This is quite the, well, okay, it's still in the monster realm, but jumping from Universal Monsters to Serial Monsters. <laughs> I, yeah, I was curious. The packages, just look at these things, right in the nostalgia bone. Still very cereal-like with the logos, the graphics, the actual cereal. Mm. And then it seems like the action figure is the prize inside. On the side, promo pictures of the figures themselves, the logos again, action figure! And then behind is some graphics, it kind of reminds me of import figures. Then on the back, wham, they just throw a bunch of stuff in there. This is what gets me the most, the uh, nutritional facts, or well, I guess action figure facts. That's how you have fun with your toys. On the top are the logos for each, on bottom the legalese, the UPCs, but then there's also a flap that is actually magnetized. You open up, you get a big graphic of Count Chocula, and then you see the figure inside and what it includes. That's the same for Frankenberry. It has that is that kind of like the mask cutout they used to put on the back of cereal boxes? And then the figure of that too. I can't decide which one to open first. Let's go with the count. And you guys know me, I would usually just rip right into it, but I'm gonna try to be as delicate as possible. It's crazy, but I'm actually keeping the box. Cardboard tray, insert, and then, oh, what is behind it? It's got, I guess, a modernized Count Chocula and Boo Berry and Frankenberry. And then the porches up here are Chocula through the ages. The tray has a lid and uh, it just, it, there's a quality feel to it. This is very much meant to be repacked if you wanted to. And it's crazy. It's one of those characters that you would never imagine getting in super articulated action figure form, but here it is in all its plastic glory. There's a simplicity to the sculpt, which is appropriate, completely appropriate. There's a flare out at the bottom of the sleeve of the suit, which, and I skipped all the way to there because the arm is essentially a tube. Same thing for the legs, all the way from the hip, well, I guess the waist down to here, and then it flares out at the foot. That's what I would expect with this character in 3D form. There's actually lines sculpted where the white is painted. The torso comes down, juts out at the waist, and then this is sculpted down and around, and then the one button too. The cape and the tie in the front is all one piece. Uh, it's a little stiff. Well, actually, it's really stiff. <laughs> it doesn't really want to flex out of the way. It likes to jump around as you're messing around with it, but it looks nice once you get it in position. But it's all about the head, and they just nailed it. In fact, looking at it in 3D form, it's not exactly what I expected, but it's probably what would happen if Count Chocula existed in real life, which I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just saying it looks really good. Most of this is cast in this dark brown chocolate plastic. And I say that because it's hard not to put this in my mouth because it looks so chocolatey good. In fact, this looks like a hard candy shell. The white is painted up on top of here. I think the hands and the head are cast in this lighter tan plastic. Then the joints here are painted. They are cast in the lighter tan, but there was a layer of paint here, I think, and it's kind of peeled off. The white painted here is and they're fairly clean. There may be a little bleed right there. And then the eyes are painted nice. Again, maybe a slight bleed there, but considering what this is, I'm going to allow it. And then the front teeth and that dark brown is painted up in the mouth. Oh, and then the hair is a separate piece cast in the chocolate color. I am holding a cartoon character. That's what it boils down to. An articulated cartoon character. Speaking of that, there seems to be a ball or a dumbbell at the top of the neck with a ball at the bottom. <laughs> Big old head. Got to zoom out a little bit. Looks up, looks down. Chin tries to get in the way, but there is some down. Look at 
like this. And then of course, side to side. Shoulder is pinned into the torso, rotates all the way around. Hinge on the outside of that comes up to almost 90. Hinge and swivel at the elbow, eh, slightly past 90, and then rotates. Swivel at the wrist, in and out hinge. The way the torso comes down, it allows a hidden ball joint at the waist. With that, you can get some forward and back and some tilt along with rotation. Outside of that is a ball coming out to the hip, comes forward, back, hinges out, and look at that. That's better than a lot of the big boys figures. Rotation at the thigh, double freaking knee. Comes up, Count Chocula can kick his own ass. It's, it's amazing. Hinge at the ankle goes back, forward, front facing pin for rocker. Okay, messing around with that, it does seem to loosen up slightly the more I articulate the joints, but I'm not having much trouble getting him to stand. We'll see how that goes over the course of the review. There is slight wobble. I think that is everything together. The thinness here, the waist, the knees, the hips. That's not just one joint being that floppy. For accessories, comes with a cereal box. It has all that same details on the front. And then, yeah, on the back, it is a Fool Your Friends Play Monster cutout mask. Little wide, oh no, there you go. <laughs> But you can also, and I haven't done this yet, so we'll learn together how this works. The head is supposed to come off, and there is a dumbbell joint. Oh, and I guess if you want, you can take the cloak off. Do have some rub from this tie just constantly sh 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 rubbing on it. But you also get this alternate head. I didn't need any heat to pop it on. I did have to force it a little bit. Ooh, cereal. There is so much expression here, just so much personality. And I think I have a hard time deciding which one I like better. It may be neutral, because that's how I like to put stuff on shelves, but... There's a ton of fun to be had with that. And now you know what's next, Frankenberry. I've never noticed he has strawberries for fingernails. But again, I never had the cereal box in front of me in the mornings. And behind it is the same graphic, but then of course, Frankenberry through the ages. Oh, and what can I say about Frankenberry that I didn't already say about Count Chocula? It feels a little bit more hollow and not as solid as Chocula. Not that I worry about breaking it or anything, it's just that it, it's a different beast. It's a different size, it's a different shape, it's a different set of mechanics actually. There's some different engineering going on, but that doesn't mean it's inaccurate. It doesn't mean that it's not good. In fact, it's fantastic. Jada essentially worked with what they had and gave us just childhood memories to enjoy in plastic form. The chains are sculpted on and painted a nice silver. I would have liked to have seen actual links, but as is, and this being a cartoon character or a commercial character, they serve their purpose. The shape of the body perfectly realized. It actually looks like a strawberry. I never realized that until I'm holding it in 3D form. The arms are tubes coming down to the hands. The same thing with the legs, the feet are just, you know, feet shaped lumps. The hands are interesting because it comes back around to those strawberries for the fingernails that I never knew about. Now it's in my face again. Have the C grip on the right, the left is just a gesturing hand. But again, it is all up at the head. There's some emotion here. How is that possible? Why am I feeling sad for Frankenberry right now? <laughs> I'm sorry for not liking marshmallow cereal. But at the same time, he's got a goofy little grin like he's fighting with Chocula over what's the better. Wait a second, this isn't right. What are you looking at, Chocula? Have the on this side and then the gauge on this side the ears with the little paint apps on the things and the eyes painted in again a slight bleed to the white that i notice on this side and not this one and then the eyebrows are slightly off i don't know why i'm so forgiving with this almost feel like that's part of the charm of these i do already have kind of a slight looseness to the swivel at the elbow but it's not falling you know oh yep there was paint on the joints it peeled off on there but the joint is the same color so that doesn't really bother me. As far as engineering differences go, they couldn't put any kind of ball joint down here without breaking up the sculpt. So the waist is just a swivel. And then for the neck, instead of doing a ball joint at the bottom, they did a ball joint at the top, moving to a hinge, and then another ball joint on a long rod that goes way up there. So with that, that's crazy. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe it's a hinge at the top, moving to a hinge with a ball way up there. But speaking of articulation, I just explained the neck gets you that much. And if you don't like all that gap, you can even shift it back a little bit, shorten it up, hide all that. Unfortunately, shifting all the way can't really look down. There's just way too much chin there. Also, with the ball joint essentially being way up here, it's not so much tilt as it is sway. Then it turns up there on that ball joint. Arms pinned in, rotates all the way around. Hinges out. Hinge and swivel at the elbow comes up to 90. And I was gonna say, I didn't think there was a backwards, like you could turn it around, but it still goes about the same. Plus, 
there is a wrinkle sculpted right there. So I think that's the outside. Then that swivels, swivel at the wrist, and that also hinges in and out. Rotation at the waist, that's just to turn the legs. There is a swivel that comes forward, back, hinges, well, out. <laughs> that's more than I figured. Rotation at the thigh, double knee, that should be no problem. Oh yeah, Frankenberry ass. Hinge at the ankle, goes back, forward, forward facing pin for rocker. For accessories, again, we have a hollow plastic scaled cereal box. More purple than I was expecting, but that's okay. And then on the back, there's that mask again. I'm a monster. Fool your friends. And then again, I haven't done this yet. Let's see how easy this pops off. Yeah, that is just a hinge forward and back. Okay, I did heat it up a little bit to get it popped on there, but whew, look at that Hanna-Barbera craziness. The eyes are way wider than the regular head, but it's the mouth that <laughs> does all the expression here. Frankenberry. Actually, there's some eyelid at the top of the eye. That attention to detail. I love it. Again, the eyebrows are painted slightly off the sculpt, but I can't complain. Size-wise, Chocula actually ends up slightly taller, but only because of his hair or his chocolate. Because Frankenberry stands at six and an eighth, while Chocula to the top of those two points is about six and a quarter. Here they are with the Jaded Toys Universal Monsters Frankenstein and Dracula, and then the Mezco 112th Collective Frankenstein and Nosferatu. And to give you an idea, next to some of the major 112th scale lines, here's the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Stormtrooper version one and the Hasbro Marvel Legends Black Panther. But if you haven't gotten the hint, these are completely nostalgia driven. So I had to put them next to the G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Commander and the Masters of the Universe classics He-Man. Then the SH Figure Arts Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Donatello and the Bandai Figurized Model Kit Dragon Ball Z Goku. Now you guys know me, I didn't watch Dragon Ball Z back in the day, but Goku's face is just how I feel right now. Just look at that, just happy as hell. So at the end of the day, I thought I'd really, really like them ended up loving them. They just captured the overall feel of the characters. And I know that they were 30 minute snippets from 30 some odd years ago, at least for me. But as I'm messing around with them, posing them around, even just looking at them, all these feelings rush in. Now I get to hold on to that. I can put this on the shelf, look up anytime I want, and just be zipped back to Saturday morning cartoons. And there ain't nothing better than that. As I've messed with them more, some of the joints have loosened up. And no, I don't have Chocula leaning like that. I just thought it was a cool pose. He will stand up, and I haven't had much of a problem of them falling over. In fact, if <laughs> plans go accordingly, you saw some pictures of them running. That was a pain in the ass, but they did stay up long enough for me to take the picture. I wouldn't leave them on the shelf like that, but they have the ability to do it. Now we need Booberry. And even though I don't remember them as much, I'll take a Fruit Brute. I'll take a Yummy Mummy. Let's finish out this team. <laughs> team you know, of specialists. Serial specialists. If you enjoyed the review, comment, like, subscribe. Much, much love to the plus. If you're interested in seeing videos early or in a position to help out the channel, patreon.com. But wherever you may be watching this, I'll always catch you on the foosh. Hell, as cheap as these are, I may track down another set just to use these alternate heads because the personality stuffed into these head sculpts, oh, it, it just blows my mind. I want to be able to display all four versions at any one time. Sneak them into other displays? Well, hmm, a Saturday morning cartoon display. That shouldn't be too hard at this point, right?